Today we're going to look at how to add a source using the new add source function in Wirecast. This new design makes it a lot easier to find sources you use over and over again as you switch between different Wirecast projects. You can search for different sources, whether they're cameras or overlays or titles or graphics, or you can even favorite them and create a list of the ones that you like to use frequently between different Wirecast projects. We think this will be a lot easier for you moving forward as it automatically categorizes sources into commonly used categories and allows you to create your own list of favorites. Let's look at it. First, in order to access this new menu, it's the same way you've always done it in Wirecast. You're just gonna click the Add Source button and that will pop up the new Add Source design. You can see here that we have different categories listed on the screen from video capture to network sources to overlays, graphics and titles, as well as different kinds of backgrounds you can use and even one that just gets you all the sources in a row. Over on the right, you can click your favorite sources that you like to use over and over again. This is where you're gonna add that camera or capture card that you always use no matter what project you're in. These starred sources appear on your personal favorites list. If you're someone who uses a lot of the overlays like clocks or titles in Wirecast, you'll probably want to add those to your favorites list as well as any network sources you frequently use like the iOS cam from Wirecast Go or a certain audio device or audio mixer. Once you have your list together, this should always be accessible unless you reset your preferences in Wirecast. All right, I'm going to select the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder for this shot, and then I'm going to quickly add another shot with my XI100 USB video device, which brings in my main camera. Now that I've added my two cameras to my Wirecast document, it's time to look at a few of the other cool features that this new Add Source UI offers. First, you'll notice this cool search feature at the top. So if I want to add a solid color, I can just type in solid and it immediately shows up in the search menu and I can add that as a source. Wirecast automatically renders it and brings it in in its default state. I can quickly create my blue background, which is a little too blue in my opinion. Let's knock that down a little bit into more of a muted color or a, type, or a gray. and throw it behind me so I can quickly chroma key it out. Unstarring a source will remove it from your favorites list so it'll no longer appear there. This is a way to keep that list short and manageable. If you want to add a media file, just click the Add Media button in the lower left of this window and Wirecast will open a file browser where you can quickly locate pictures, music, or other movie or video files. Selecting those will quickly add them to whichever layer you click the Add Source button on. For you power users out there, there's a quick access menu you can get to by right-clicking or control-clicking on the Add Source button. You'll notice common categories, including your favorites list, are still here. It's just in a much easier to use format that is quickly accessible. This is a great way to skip the whole window and just add the sources you quickly need to get to. And that's pretty much it. That's the new add source function in Wirecast. We hope it's useful and convenient for you and a great way to quickly access the sources you use most in Wirecast. Thanks for watching.